Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Fly Fish Dan. I'm headed up to the mountains to Coldwater Lake. I love fishing Coldwater Lake in the winter time. It's just peaceful. I usually have the entire lake to myself and my hope is that the pass is open going up to the lake. So getting into some snow now, but uh, let's head up the mountains and do some winter fly fishing. All right, see you up there, fish on. End of the road. Well, that's a bummer. So I loaded up the float tube and we're headed to my secret lake, plan B. I know it's gonna be good there. And hopefully we'll get into some fish. It's just a few hours away. <laughs> All right, let's do this fish on. four-wheel drive for this. tougher to move. I tell you, we have truly had an unprecedented winter. And this is the road into my favorite lake. And I'm not going to be able to get in there. Next time, bring in a chainsaw. But let's go down to the lake to see if there's anything uh, worth fishing. Some of the lakes that I passed by had ice on, on it. This could be completely iced over. All right, let's take a hike in. Yeah, I was able to I move a couple of these around, but ugh. that's a little big. Several trees down. Yeah, some of these are a little bigger than uh, I can shove out of the way, like I did earlier. Man, that's another big one here. Oh no! Oh, I tell you, for the first time in a really long time, living in the Pacific Northwest, I literally cannot fish this weekend. It, all the passes are closed. I tried to get up to cold water. That's blocked off. And here's my favorite lake. I mean, look at my lake. It is, it is frozen solid. All right, just, uh, just for fun, let's see how uh, thick this ice is. That's rock hard. Like, nowhere to fish. So, all right. Shortest fly fish dan episode of the year. I literally have no place to go. <laughs> well, until the next time, we'll see you on the lake or river or whenever the snow melts, anyway. All right, everybody. Till the next time. Fish on.